the right now. I already give I already give you the permission. Okay, you can uh, uh, show your video. Okay. Oh, uh, I do the recitation. You want me to show the text also? No need now. Okay. <clears throat> Achara Sankata Matampicha Bikawe Biku Pataman Janam Bhavati uh, Ayang Vuchati Bikawe uh, Biku Ajit Ajit Jahano Viharati, sorry, Viharati Satu Sasana Karo Owa Pati Karo Amogang Rati Rata Pintang Bunjati uh, Ko Pana Wado Yenang Bahuli Karo Bahuli Karonti T. That's it. That's uh, a short passage. Can you hear? Sorry. I, I can't hear you, Saji. Yes, yes, can hear you. Oh, okay. okay. So um, I shared the translation. Uh, can see? Can y'all see this? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Ah, right. <clears throat> ah, Sutta 7, Achara Sankatam, I won't repeat. Ah, uh, well, what, what I have started is I broke this, set, this rather long sentence into a few parts. Uh, I stop here and then uh, continue until this as second sentence and this as the third sentence. So, <clears throat> achara sankatam matampi is an adjective, it's a compound word. It means, um, it means, um, it's a feminine word, uh, fingertips, finger snap, snapping of the fingers. Uh, it can also mean a celestial name, a female nature divinity, or it also represents a short moment. Uh, mata uh, is a pp of vinati. Uh, it means among two, it, it, it's like it gives a, a certain measure of quantity or uh, as, uh, with reference to time, to things, or numbers. So it can mean a number of things, uh, as in amount of, as many as, measure, consisting of, so much, some enough. And uh, P is uh, uh, indeclinable compound, which means just even uh, so. So uh, to me, I took it as uh, even just a measure of a snap of the fingers. It's like, you know, um, that it's that length of a of a uh, time to snap the fingers. So chair is an injunction in the Kleinaber. It means if uh Bikawe is as everyone would know, it's a form of addressing the, the monks or monks uh, is a vocative. Uh Biku to me is a subject here in this sentence uh, as well as the following. And then we have um the adjective patamang uh, and janam and also bhavati, the uh, the verb. So patamam means uh, first or first, foremost or former. Uh, janam here, I think most of us have an idea what it means, but many of us have not experienced it. It's like, um sorry, I assume, uh, sorry, a state of deep meditative calm is absorption also, uh, literally means meditating or meditation. Um, bhavati here is a verb. Uh, mean meaning uh cultivate develops or causes to become. Then uh the the continuing sentence after uh, that first part is ayam <clears throat> uh, This is like um pointing 
that this is said to be omangs. And then we have Biku again tying up to what was addressed here. Um, but this time it is saying this is said to be omang, a mang, right? So it's already signifying that uh, the subject is very clear. Now I had a long time trying to figure this couple of words with all the O's. I thought, my God, how can there be so many subjects? Then it dawned on me that they are not truly subject, but um, adjectives to to uh, uh, address, uh, sorry, to describe the subject as in um, uh, the, the word Arita Jano, um, Arita is a rudal. Very, 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 very hard to find other words uh, fitting to this arita, uh, but it means also means not empty or, or futile. Then we have jhana. So when I try to tie this up, uh, which means it modifies the bhikkhu, yeah, like I say, the jhana modifies the bhikkhu, it's one who is not empty of jhana, then one, one who is not without jhana. Um, uh, basically, uh, as we as we progress, we will see uh, what is described about this monk. And we have Viharati. Initially, uh, Saiji, when I sent it to you, I thought I would tie it with Satu Sasanakaro. Then on second thought, that's not a subject. It's, it's an adjective. So this Viharati, again, is talking about the Bhikkhu, uh, one who recites or dwells. So I think it would mean recite or dwell in jhana or one who is without jhana, one is not, not having jhana, not clear yet. Then when I further uh, go down the line, we have Satu Sasana Karo. Satu, Satu is the teacher. Um, Sasana is the teaching. And the Karo is from the word Karunti. So one who complies with his teacher's teaching. Um, that was uh, what uh, Satu Sasana Karo compound would add it up together meant. Mm. Then Owada Patikaro. Uh, Owada uh, Patikaro uh, means acting according to the advice or uh, compiling, uh, complying with, with the instruction, uh, personally undertaking further admonition from whom must be from the teacher. So once the, all this is about explaining about this monk and what he does. And then we have uh, Mogang, which is an ad another adjective uh, meaning not empty, uh, not, not futile. So uh, not empty, not futile is fruitful, efficacious, not in vain, not futile. So uh, we have we have a number of uh, words that we could choose from uh, to make sense of this whole explanation. Now, what would be tying this up to me was uh, what was important, this adjective explaining the object. Ah, then it made a lot more sense to me that we have masculine adjective rata, the country, a kingdom, and pinda being the food obtained from the people, which means countries, arms, food, food from the people. And of course, Bunjati, what the bhikkhu does is he eats, so he enjoys and he consumes. So when I sat down, um, it took me a while to really, it took me a while, um, not decided what to, what, to, what to use this because this time no English translation given. So I had to like make sense of this sentence uh, in, in a way, in a sequence that would be useful. So I came up with this that, this Oman is said to be a monk who is not without deep meditative state or jhana. Not without deep meditative means he has, he would acquire deep meditative state. One who abides com complying with his teacher's uh, teaching and one who acts in accordance to his teacher's advice. And again, it explains him. And one who does not eat, does not eat, the country's arms food in vain. Now this this not eat is from this amogam, not not futile, not not um, without, not. So, uh, it's it's not 
the, the bunjati here, there's there's no negative word except amogam. So that's how I formulize this particular phrase. Uh, shoot me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and then we have ko pana wadoye nam bahuli karonti ti. Um, ko pano uh, wado actually is an idiom, but if we break it up into individually, it means who, what, which, yeah, uh, uh, indeclinable pana, which is enclitic, and wada, which is uh, speech. So we can, the idiom means what to say or how much more no need to talk about. And this is what I extracted again from dictionary and it tie up to this uh, whole phrase, these three, three words here. And we have <clears throat> relative pronoun subject, masculine, uh, ye, yani, whoever, whatever, whichever, or those who. And we have nam, which is the pronoun object, um, which denotes him, her, it, one or that. And of course, uh, Bahuli Karunti, uh, main verb. I have some correction from uh, Ben uh, Saji. Uh, I'll, I'll state what I put down first, which was um, Bahula, uh, Bahu. The word is increase. Um, it's a lot, um, a much um, in terms of quantity. It also can mean um, to take it up, to take thing up seriously. So karuti of course is uh, to perform to do. So we can we can interpret in this way what has been said up here, which is uh, the practice or the or the gradual training or the training that a bhikkhu goes through. And it is this bahuli karunti is describing this all this that uh that he does or it, that is uh, describing the monk. And it says practice for devote oneself, cultivate, take up seriously, increases literally make a lot or much of it. That means you do a lot of practice. And of course, T is the uh, quotation mark ending the speech. So what I what I choose to 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 interpret at the beginning was what more to say of those who takes it up seriously. Um, but Saiji corrected me to um, point point out to me that uh, Bahulin Karoti is uh, firstly about what is much or many, and then um second second uh translation to Bahulin Karoti is uh, up seriously. So I had already put this, so I thought I should um uh, let y'all know that 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 was my interpretation, and this is. Uh, somewhat of what I understood from Saji, and I changed it to what more to say of those who make much of it. Now, um, this is not Biko Bodhi or anybody's translation, it's strictly mine, so I'm sure it's open to a lot of query. Um, so I, I put it in as a uh, omang, if a monk develops the deep meditative state or jhana, even for a moment, as the snap of the finger, uh, this old monk is said to be a monk who is not without deep meditative state or jhana, uh, one who abides compiling with his teacher's uh, teaching, who acts in accordance to his teacher's advice, and who does not eat the country's arms food in vain. So what more to say of those who takes it up, uh, the cultivation, seriously, or what more to say of those who mix much of it? Uh, this much, of course, is again, referring to the cultivation. Um, and that's that's my attempt to translate this piece. Thank you for listening. Um, any question? So, uh, which one you find is difficult for you to, to do? You know, after um, you check all the dictionaries and so on, um, which one you think is difficult? I, I, I admit, uh, Saji, uh, sorry, sorry, I didn't highlight that this is an adjective clause. Uh, it was this, uh, you know, when, when, uh, last year or so, uh, Saji also gave me a piece that had the no, but it didn't make sense that it was nominative, um, singular or, or <laughs> so it wasn't a subject, you know. So this stumped me for a while, until it dawned on me, it's silly, it's so silly. This is actually just describing, and and when this transform, when it becomes an adjective, you could you could put a no, um. This is, is nominative singular. So this 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 was the one that stumped me for a day. Okay, so I must <laughs> it and I didn't I didn't I didn't want to bother with it because I was so bothered with it that I didn't want to be bothered with it. I just left it in like 
came back another day. That was when it struck me that it's not nominative singular. There in they aren't that many uh, subjects here. It's only describing the subject. I said, okay, that is great. That just like lifted the whole passage up for me. But even so, even so, trying to piece this whole bunch of interpretation to make sense of a sentence also took the wind out of me because uh, be probably because I have not read this particular passage. In, 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 yeah, I think but, because you didn't read, for those who read lots of sutta, to them this sentence is very normal. Very standard. It's like yeah. a, probably a, a stock phrase. But yeah, yeah, this is a stock phrase. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. so bearing in mind that I didn't, this was this was all I could make sense of. And and then of course this one, I, I think uh Saji, the this could not be this is very contemporary way of translating the, the suttas. I'm sure mm -hmm. uh, Bhikkhu Bodhi would have done a better job because Yeah, I, you can check his translation. Okay, what more to say, you know? So mm. yeah. So yeah, that's that's okay. my so about the snap of finger, the mm -hmm. achara, whatever. Oh, that, that whatever. was surprisingly easy. That was surprisingly easy. For you. easy. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it just like I when when I when I did achara, you know, mm. uh, eh, I I could like see the words jump up to me. I said, I know what this means. I know what mm. I, I I mean. I know what this means. But putting this in the sentence was like, mm, should I put, uh, should I put. A snap, uh, snap of the moment of the snap of finger, or, uh, the 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 time it takes to snap the finger, you know. So trying to, you know, give it some give it some finesse, uh, So, but so, I, so what's the meaning? The snap of finger. What's the actual meaning? Um, like like, I, I don't okay. So why is that? So what, why is that? Like like, if you if you have a jhana, and it's only as long as this. This, okay, so this time. Why this? Uh, this? This time, time, what time? Uh, sorry, moment. Uh, the oh, moment. This. Yeah, the, very short time. Ah, uh, very short time. Very this short time. moment. Okay, uh, okay. Yes, so, yes. I mean, be, inside your transition, in a very short, uh, what, a snap of finger, you can put blanket or whatever. Uh, a very short moment. You even can even put a, a blanket, but play a blanket, short moment. Uh, very okay, short okay, moment. Okay. okay. They okay, will be more okay. obvious. So, even for a very short moment, as a snap uh, of finger. Okay. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Because Thank people you. ask you, like me, what's the meaning of snake of finger? You know? <laughs> what's the meaning? Yeah. What's the meaning of this snake of finger? It, it's not demonstrate the action. I know, it's actually I know. demonstrate the, the moment, yeah. the length of time. It's yeah. not like you say you need to sit for one hour or right. two hours or just half an hour. It's just talking about even for one moment. Okay. But it's, of course, when you look at in a syntax of Bajana, but Buddha also said, the vipassana practice is better than jhana, especially when you see anicca dukkha anatta, uh, is mm. better than jhana. Mm. Okay, so compared to do the donation, morality is better. Compared to do the morality, uh, metta bhavana is better. Compared mm. to metta to vipassana, vipassana is better. So here is only we focus on first jhana, but when we also need to look at the vipassana side. Okay. 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 All right. So. The one you say you confuse, you know why you confuse? Because bhikkhu, you didn't see the all. Normally, I told you all, when you see all, 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 it's a subject, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, because you didn't see the all, all, so you forget the bhikkhu and then the arita, jano. One is subject, another one just the description for it. Yeah, that's why when you learn the declension, you have to learn all the like bhikkhu finish with you. And then uh. the Buddha finish with A. Yeah. yeah. I, I told you all, you need to draw your own table. The one that like I show you all, all the table with all the R, E, U, whatever. All right? Okay. And it also okay. shows things if that you're confused about this, maybe your subject, your, your center energy is not so strong. But I think after you go through this level of training by yourself, it's different, mm -hmm. you know, if compared to I give you the answer and you do it yourself. Yeah. It's very different. yeah I, I, so yeah. you appreciate the, your yes. own hard work. <laughs> Yes. You crack the head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any question for other students? Anything you want to ask? Uh, JD is not here today. I think oh. brother who uh, brother brother Ong also disappeared. 
Okay, Brother Kao, are you around? Uh, yes, I did. Do you have any question? Uh, you are only one thing be quite because expert of already. the because of mm. the arrow, uh, there's so many arrow pointing to the Biku. So does it one arrow re represent the meaning of the arrow? Is represent everything of the arrow, or it, each arrow have different meaning? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Usually, uh, it. it it all describes the, the subject to me. Uh, of course, there are instances where adjectives are also, uh, in this case, uh, describing the object. So that's why the arrows are all flying around. Uh, in particular, this whole passage is all about uh, 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 pointing to the air, uh, pointing to the bhikkhu per se, like this person, this this monk. So. Uh, usually, uh, Saiji, I I don't use arrows, but I thought for space uh, purposes, I I did that all in one 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 shot. But normally, brother cow, I would uh use uh dotted 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 little arrows to to see the to show the relationship. But this adjective clause itself is uh, uh quite quite broad, so that's how I present represented it this way. Uh, nothing at the bottom here uh, for, for this. Just because usually the arrow we are referring to adjective, right? We have use adjective uh, to as an arrow, right? Oh, um, so far uh, from Saiji lah. From Saiji, we are, I think we, <laughs> we put arrow for the adjective part lah. Uh, but the, other than that, I think we it, don't use arrow. It's it's usually for me. It's also um, uh, that word modifying what. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. You all can use arrow as long as it's clear to you. And when people ask you what is the purpose of that arrow, then you should answer. For example, uh, I suggest let's say instead of using the blue color, for example, bhikkhu and bunjati, maybe you can use different colors to show that bhikkhu is a subject and bunjati is a verb. You know? Uh, okay. okay. Then you look because now like all the arrow is uh, for adjective, right? Yeah. Uh, this one you maybe change it to another color. Oh, okay. 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 Then, that. then you, I, okay. Then people uh, like I, this. For example, okay. then the ayam biku, uh, um, because this, is said, this one is this old monk. This is said uh, to be. Mm. Okay. This is said, okay. This is said, this is said, what is said? This, so ayam wuchati, maybe ayam wuchati, if you want to link, ayam wuchati should link to, instead of uh, ayam wuchati, link to uh, each other. This oh, is that, okay. right? Yeah, oh. because a uh, chati is a passive sentence, right? Oh, okay, okay. It's okay. You can fine tune until you uh, it's a uh, make sense, all right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, of course we can use the arrow with a dot 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 for the adjective also. Oh. Yeah, but sometimes arrow is good, but when too much, mm. too much people will get confused why your arrow is flying here. Oh, yeah, all, all towards the Biko. Biko <laughs> right? eating it all up. <laughs> but maybe what I, I suggest you can use like like you now you use the color system wuchati viharati munjati you use a different color is enough already you know oh. to show all these are verbs it's enough right, right, right. Yeah, okay yeah. okay okay all right yeah Thank all right you. because sometimes uh, I mean for for I think you all are doing like we call it uh, too much hard work uh. so for <laughs> those who do less work like brother Kao they, they will say wow, wow all the sister are Fantastic, uh, your homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Now you understand why people do arrow. Right? Last time when you see the bandit arrow, arrow, now you understand why they arrow. Uh, okay. It's showing the connection or relationship. Really? Okay, uh, any other question from other students? If not, we, uh, we can... Uh, okay, so it's good because uh, later, if I can find the exact translation from Biku Body, I'll show, share with you. I think yours and his should not be much different, right? Oh, and also okay. one thing you notice that the, the there are many one Pali have many English. So it really mm, takes some time mm, for you to figure out yes, which yes, which adjective yes. we use the word rendering, which yeah. exact rendering that you need to yes. use. For example, this achara, the first meaning is finger snap. Second mm. meaning is the female uh mm. name, so dewa, kind of like mm. dewa. Mm. So yeah, this also is these two are totally different from each other. Right? Yes, yes. And mata is very easy. It's just a, a measure, mm. right? A measure, a moment, or very short, or just. 
Right. Okay. Mata, sometimes they translate as major, but sometimes they translate as just. Right? Mm. Just a moment. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I okay. think thanks very much. Welcome. All right. Okay. Today. All right. So now we are lesson 19. We already finished 19. So you all, when you are free, you do your homework. So I look at the book. So I just may just have time today. So 19 and then there will be 19 is on female, 20 also on female. Okay. Actually, after the lesson 19, then already uh, consider all the gender you finish already. So 21 is consonantal and 22 is the present participle. So I was thinking that we will stop on a lesson 22. So this means that we will have 20, uh, 20, 21, 22, three lessons to go. All right, so three lessons to go and in, in October, all right, October we have one month. So there are four classes, about four classes. starting point, So there are five classes. So I will finish lesson 20, up to 22. Then we, in December is uh, November. Actually, I will give you maybe two weeks or three weeks for study week, you know, because December, you will answer the questions from the lesson 15 to lesson maybe 21 or 22. So I need to give you at least maybe two weeks or three weeks for you to do your own revision, all right? Okay, so we see how is it, because I think for this diploma, you all have studied a lot, because we also push you on the uh, Sutanda reading. So I think maybe your class is actually have lots of information. So it's good, you, I give you some time for you to digest it, all right? And for the Sutta reading, uh, as I said, I want to include the Sutta reading as one of the exam question, but I think I don't want to review it by myself, uh, review with you all. So since all of you have do the presentation, maybe you invite each other to review, okay? You get what I mean. So instead, I, I, I explain the Sutta again. So maybe one day you find a time, like Friday, when we stop the class. So let's say I will stop maybe three weeks early before the exam. So one, week, one day you find yourself a time, and ask the presenter to present again. Because for the second time she presents, she will be, she or he will be have a better understanding about the way of presentation. Because you notice that the moment, the first day, the first time you present, you are very blur, blur, right? But after uh, like the sutta number one, sutta number two, up to now sutta number three. So compared to your level of understanding, when you understand the sutta number one and now sutta number three, it's very different. Okay, so it's also good to push you all to be more uh, initiative, lah, right? Okay, so because this uh, class is an online class, so where I find it online class is one thing about difficulty about online is is that yeah, we should yeah, actually you yeah, are just sitting in front of a computer or handphone, right? So without all without all this engagement or without homework, actually it's very boring, really very boring. Because I sometimes I join some of the online classes. I find I just sit there like kind of like watching TV, you know. <laughs> it's actually quite boring after a while. So the mind only can stay for maybe 15 minutes, then the mind to wander off for it. Because we can take the opportunity to go to the toilet uh, or whatever, right? Okay, yes, Brother Kao. Uh, Saji, are you still maintaining that during exam, the Sutanta will be only the translation, no analysis? Yes, 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 yes. But, okay. but I, I would not copy exactly the Pali from the, for example, Sutta 1, Sutta 2, Sutta 3, I will choose some sentence. Of course, for those who are doing the open book, the, the certificate, you all are allowed to look at the, 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 the paper, right? But those like taking diploma, for example, uh, Wong and Brother Kao, you all should not look at any paper, okay? I will present the sentence in Pali, but I might modify a little bit. Like listen at them, I actually modify some. It's not exactly copy and paste. You cannot copy and paste. Because no point you learn so much Pali and you just copy and paste wrongly. And you cannot even spot the difference. It's not a good student, right? Okay? So okay, it will be okay. translation, but not exact translation. I will modify by past time. I might be modified to future tense. Like maybe singular, I modify to plural. Okay. But generally, it's a sense of same translation. Okay? So you have Sutta 1, Sutta 2, Sutta 3 to cover, right? 
So I will give you at least three weeks before the what December what first or second uh? first uh, or second Saturday. All right. So for other students, any questions? Which means but the think, three uh, three yes. weeks uh, we'll do our own revision, right? We'll get together and on Fridays we'll do yes, our own Yes, up to you, revision. up to you. Yes, you all can do revision together. Or for those who feel that you are confident by yourself, you don't want any revision from people, you can just proceed by your own. Okay? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah maybe I will stop uh, because I we already have three more lessons to go up to 22. It's good to learn 22 because 22 is different pattern. 21 is consonantal, 22 is a present participle, all right? So these two are important for you to learn the text down, right? So in December time, uh, before the December, definitely, uh, maybe in November, I will stop the class so you all can gather on Friday if you need, okay? If you want my ID, it's okay. If not, you all can just open any Zoom meeting by yourself, right? You all are in the same WhatsApp group, right? So you all can... Tell yourself, okay, today who want to uh, discuss on Sutta 1, number 1, or Sutta number 2, number 3, right? So it's up to your initiative to study. Because in my university, yeah. sometimes in, before the exam, we also start to uh, ask those who are expert. Uh, we saw it's the expert. Approach the expert one for extra help, all right? Yeah. Sometimes, okay. last okay. time, I, I, I see all my answers, you know? The student never want to copy from my answer. You know why? Because I, I tend to use very short form to memorize. So they will go to Sayaji Agawati because her writing is big and she will write more. Okay. Then another student who is from India, her Pali is very good. She write lots of Pali. So no student want to borrow her paper. Why? Because the answer is too much. <laughs> her answer is too, too long, much. Too long. <laughs> too long. Yeah, her answer is like, uh, how many? Three pages, you know, for one thing. My answer is too short because I write short form. My answer may be half pages. And then so they always go for Sajid Agawati because why? they know she they get her answer from me. So they are very smart. So this is Vietnam student. <laughs> so you all learn smart way. Lah. All right? Okay. Yeah, okay. So I will do the sharing. Okay, now we will go back to the Declension will be one of the question, all right? So either you need to decline the masculine or feminine. You need to describe, uh, decline masculine and feminine, definitely, and also neuter, right? So we just go back to basic again because it's very important, all right? For female, long A, ending with long A, there are no short A, I, or long I, U, and U, all right? For example, Tanya, Rati, Nadi. Ya gu, wadu, right? Tanya is girl, rati is night, nadi is river, ya gu, blue, wadu, woman, right? So, now, when you make, I suggest you all make your own notes and you notice that this is something special, right? Vocative, this one from Tanya, change to Tanya. Then the rest here, rati, same with rati, nadi, nadi becomes short power. In the, uh, vocative all most of the time become short vowel. So rati, rati become rati. Nadi, long I become nadi. Yagu, yagu, but wadu, long you become short you. All right. So characteristic of the vocative is short vowel. So where is it after that? When you have the short vowel, you just put the M dot, nasal sound for the nasal consonant for the acquisitive. So kanyam, here no more long A. All right. So it's because short A already. So ratim nadin yagum nadu. So most of the time in the Pali, you don't have, you don't have like this one long a. Okay, we don't have long a before the this uh, nasal consonant. So we don't have this one. Even if we have this one, it's automatic change to short a. All right, this one of the rules in Pali. So instrumental ability, daily genitive. With the ya, right? So kanya ya is here. So rati here become all short vowel. So rati ya, nadi ya, yagu ya, wadu ya. So here short vowel plus ya. So they this generally is same. Locate locative also same. And you have the special one like sawati yam, alright? And then ya or short vowel with ya and yam. 
So here, what is plus the yo? So kanya kanya yo, rati rati yo. Here become long. But here, here actually long one. Yeah. So here is long one. So in the plural, always long vowel here. Okay, so nadi, nadi yo. Yagu, yagu yo. Wadu, wadu yo. So when you put the yo, you must put everything, change it to long vowel, wadu, change it to wadu yo. So short vowel plus yo. Or here is all long vowel. Right? So plural, plural, same. Here very easy. Long vowel B and he. Long vowel nam. Okay. Now you got the kanya su. Right. Only one. Lati su, rati su. You got two form because the original is lati. So you got su or rati su. Nadi su. Yagu su. Yagu su. Wadu su only got one because original is wadu. Long you. Okay. Right. So feminine is not so difficult to remember, but as I mentioned before, ya or ya, you have one, two, three, four, five. All right. So ya or ya, five cases: instrumental, ablative, dative, genitive, locative. They have the one for ya and ya suffix. Okay. And just suffix also. Okay. So this one you can write yourself. Okay, now we go for the Bali easy. Have I finished this one? Have I? Have I finished? Yes or no? I can remember. Uh, have I go through this uh, vocabulary? No. No. No, no, okay. no. Okay. This one I go through, right? Uh, I think I go through already, right? For 19, I go through already. Okay. So, uh, okay, 20 is uh, same like my explanation, right? So, I want to say same. Okay. Here on the page 51. So, rati night with the ya or rati with the yam have contracted from lat ya. Or lat yam. Okay, you notice that this is a ratia become rat ya, lat ya. Rati yam become rat yam. So nadia become nadia. Nadi yam become nadiam. Why? Because okay. So we copy this. This is a not on night twenty. Lesson. Okay, I think this is easy for you to remember. Ratia become ratia. Okay, now it can change like this. Now, now we need to understand why according to call it the philology point. So we call it uh, according to the Bali philological method. So means that so T T I, right? How can it become like this? What is the step missing here? So you can put it T T Y A. Like this, okay? When you drop the consonant, I uh, drop the vowel here, right? So when you got the triple vowel, a triple consonant, so you need to drop the one. So according to this way, there are two methods. So this is good when you learn the Duracell. Next year, I'm going to start Duracell. So first is drop uh, dropping of I power. 
Second method is a triple consonant becomes double, right? So TTY become TY, right? So this I is strong. So this will expand Ratia, 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 right? So this one also same as me. So how can it become Ratiam? Same, I is dropped, okay? When I is dropped, you become R-A-T-T-Y-A-M. And then after that, the triple consonant, one is dropped, right? So you got the Ratiam. So you also got another one, Nadia. Now remember Nadia, like just now we say, is ya yeah, ya yeah, means it can be instrumental, ablative, dative, genitive, and locative. So we don't know. There are five cases it can apply. So how come this uh, Nadia become Nadia? Right. Okay, brother Kao, you want to try? Na Nadia. So N A D Y A, right? N A D Y A. Okay, and then DY become JJ. Okay, so DY become JJ. Why? Why DY become JJ? Oh, well, why? Uh? <laughs> okay, why, uh? because uh, you can find no, no. in the where can you find this uh, changing in the lesson? Uh, what in the uh, passive form, right? Lesson, uh, passive, passive, uh, passive sentence. Yeah, okay, lesson one, 33. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, okay. So lesson 33, you can see these changes, all right? DY become JJ, right? Okay, now the next one is... Okay. Uh, Huiling, Nadiam, become Nadiam, okay? Huiling, can you explain? Uh, again, it's the... Um, oh, oh DIY become JJ. No, not yet. Hmm? Okay, so the first thing you should do is um okay, look at here, uh, all right? Okay. So, okay. Uh. first thing you should drop drop what? What should you drop in the first place? Same with this one, right? Yeah. Nadia, Nadia, yeah. same, right? Yes. So what should you drop? I drop the Yes, I. so you drop the I, so become, after that? Then the JJ comes in, DY becomes, DY becomes J. JJ, right? Okay, so you all know DY becomes JJ. Then the mm -hmm. DHY become what? DHY. JJH, all right? Very easy, all right? So it's something that you also remember. DY becomes JJ, DHY become JJH. Yeah. Okay. It sound the lesson thirty three. You also look it. Okay. All right. Next one. Jatiya become same same answer. Right. Mm -hmm. So Jatiya become. Now this one is something you see, especially the example. Okay. This is one of the really you see in the big data. There's no answer. Uh, okay. So, Anna. All right. So, mm -hmm. plus the Anna. What is Anna? Brian. Brian, okay. Now, mm -hmm. So Anda is Brian, okay? Now, what is uh, this one? Jatia, okay? So you have Jatia. What is Jatia, you know? Jati is? What is Jati? Life. Birth, right? Yeah. So birth plus, what is Yas suffix? Birth something, yeah. You put the ya yeah here, right? And Brian, okay? So what's the meaning? What's the whole sentence, uh, whole text is? 
Bruv, something, 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 and Brian. All right, so anybody can guess? Is it this, blind yeah. by birth? Uh? It's already when birth it's become blind. Uh? Birth, blind by from... blind. Birth by blind. Yeah, uh? from birth. Birth, blind from, from birth. All right. Birth so this ya yeah suffix is a which case? The, which third, case? Third, third one, right? Ablative. No, no, no. Ablative. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. So what's the meaning of blind from birth? Born blind. Uh, Congenital. Is, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a natural born. one. This means that when they are born, they are born with born this blind. condition. Yeah. So in the Abhidharma, we say if a person born, born blind from birth, it's not because of accident or why. From the moment, karma. moment is a karma, right? It's a, those who are defect, we call it defective uh, birth is a, not a three-rooted. Mm. It's a two-rooted, right? Mm. A promotion for my Abhidharma class. <laughs> sure. Okay. Right. Now we go back to this one. All right. Ewa is a how do you say ens click click particle is used to emphasize the sense of twisting word. So ewa. This one you see many times. Uh, ewa, all right. So ewa. Che. So che. Che coming from the word. You know what is this che coming from? Sache, all right? Sache, sache. Sache become che. Okay. Sache aham. Okay, let's say sache aham gachami. If I go, okay. If I go, maybe you want to put the a ya or what? Uh, optative sache ya. All right. You can put the sache at the beginning, okay. Mm -hmm. Or aham sache gachami. It's also can, but you cannot put che aham gachami. Mm. Oh, gotcha, yeah. okay. Because che, you cannot put at the very beginning, all right? Mm -hmm. So you must put the che mm -hmm. aham in the middle. Normally, it's the second place. Mm. Okay. Right. So that's the third one. This particle never begin at the sentence. It's all followed by a word. So che, if he. Now, mm. ko ko panna, all right? As for so ko panna, it has many meaning. You, you need to translate a ko. It's kind of like conjunction. As for him, he on the part, you know? Sometimes ko ko panna used to give as that. Indeed, certainly. Okay, can you see? Can I? Sorry, the line is very unstable today. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. All right. So the internet, those say internet, even the year three, on and off, on and off, more than 20 times today. Oh, okay. Okay, now the sentence construction, if you notice, is very, very easy. All right. Only like lesson 15, 16, 17 is very complicated because of past participle, active and passive. Now actually, it's very easy for you to do. But the problem is you have more vocabulary, right? You start to have the masculine, neuter, feminine, right? Right, so we go to Tamasa. This is just a river name. Neranjara. Actually, Nera. All right? Nera actually is kind of like a uh, blue. Jala is river. So actually the meaning is a 
blue river. So this means that the river is actually very pure. Nila. Nila, actually coming from the word Nila, right? Blue, all right? Nila. Jala. Okay, Jala is river. So Neran Jala, actually the original meaning is, I read somewhere actually, not sure. Okay, Nila plus Jala. So, blue, water. So this means that it's very uh, clean river. Right? So then you notice that if there's a changes, this one change it to E, this one change it to R, and then this one change it to R. R. L and R has the same sound. So E become E, L become R, L become R. So it's very interesting the meaning of this word, Niranjara. So Shawati is Shawati. Wacha, right? So this is a female, female feminine noun. Sada is also feminine. So beside the word confidence, another translation is faith. Like today, I feel that my faith is increased a lot when installing the pagoda. Panya is also wisdom. Panya, another word, is a knowledge, right? So if you have the book, write down the other meaning. Panya, wisdom, knowledge. Sada, confidence, faith. All right, Baria, wife. Okay, Meta, loving kindness. Paja, people, beans. So you see this Paja in Dhaka a lot of time. Kuda, hunger. Pipasa, thirst. Okay, Wadi, bladder. Ganga, all right. So Ganga, besides talking about the Ganges River, Right, Brother Kao, do you know the another meaning of Ganga? Are you familiar mm -hmm. with it? No, hmm? uh, no. Okay. Another meaning of river. Okay. So besides sometimes the Tiptaka, we always translate the gang what like Ganga as Ganges River, but actually sometimes Ganga just refer to any river, right? Any part, any uh, maybe big or small river. So you can write down the meaning. Beside the Ganges River, another meaning is just river. So Kuti, right? Sometimes in Myanmar, we call it, we go to toilet, we call it go to Kuti because it's a small hut, all right? But uh, for monk's room, we also call it Kuti. So Kutika, Kuti. Now, Pata Sala. Okay, what's the meaning of Sala uh, for those? It's a hall, uh, right? Hall. hall. Yes, hall. So for the dining hall, how we call it? Dining hall? Uh, is it Bojana? Bojana yeah. Sala? Or Bojana, Bojana. Bojana Sala, all right? Hall for eating, right? So what is Pata? Cool. Uh, it's read, right? Reading. Uh? Reading, oh, yes. Book library? Reciting. Yeah, it's a place where the students gather under the hall when they read, read reading, all right? So Pata Sala is a hall of reading. Like ancient time, like when they don't have the bricks, whatever, it just built a kind of roof on the top, the hole. Now, Hinsa, okay? Do you know the Angulimala, his original name is? Ahimsa. Ahimsaka. Ahim, Ahimsaka, Ahimsa. right? Okay, so what's the meaning of Ahimsaka? Non-violence. Non-violence. <laughs> okay, Ahimsaka. So this, here is a violence, all right? So Ahim Saka, non-violence. But why is it his name is Ahim Saka after that he become Angulimara? Mala, I think long A. A or single A. What's the meaning of Angulimala? Anguli is a finger. Finger is Galen. Mala. Galen. Mala. Galen. Galen of flower. Mala, if you need. Garden of finger. It's, it's, it's just a kind of circular thing, no? A, a kind of round thing because he wear the finger around his neck in a circular one, okay? It's a string also, right? A string of finger. It sounds very... A string, maybe a circular of finger, right? 
Now, originally of Ahinsaka, now he changed it to Angulimara. Now you can see how the karma changed for him. All right. So, Himsaka. So, it's good. I analyzed the word so you all remember. Right? Himsaka. Hurting, killing, injuring, right? Violence, okay? Himsa, but it's a feminine here, so Himsa. Okay, so it's a feminine Himsa. Become Ahinsaka. Now we change to Angulimala. Okay, Karuna, okay? Now, there must be an end dot. Why this must be an end dot? The lingual end. Why? Not the normal end. Not the dental end. Do you know why? Car. Good car. Because there's an R. Yes. R. Because there's an the R. Yeah. You see, notice that when there's an R, automatically your sound become karuna. Your, because when you recite the R, your tongue is still crowded, right? So when you at the end, your also tongue also crowd. So it's automatic. It's very easy to remember. When you have the R, so N also with the dot. Iwa. Neck. Wadi. Okay. okay, what is the word for this wadi? I think you come across in one of the sutta already many times. Wadi. Wadi, yeah. V-A-D-D-H-E-T-I. Wadi. Wadi. Wadati also can. Wadati also can. Wadati. I think in uh, 19. Wadati. Okay, you got the Wadati. Okay. I think another one is Wadati also. Increase, okay. So you all remember this Wadati or Wadati. Growth, right. So when you come across the noun, try to go back to the words, right. Janapada, district. Sometimes Janapada we are talking about I think they talk about kind of like, uh, it's actually a bigger place. Sometimes I think they call it, yeah, country, right? Yeah, it's a bigger province also can of country. It's a little bit bigger compared to a smaller place. Okay, Opposite of town or market. Right. Market, town or market is small place. So this is a bigger place. Jana Pada. Why is Jana? People. People, okay. Then what is Pada? Pada is foot. <laughs> foot, feet. No, foot. you see, Pada and Pada. Okay, no. different. Pada and Pada. Alright, so? Place. So, place, alright. Place of people. Okay, so place of people, it can be a bigger or smaller. But Jana Pada is normally bigger than a small place. So it's like uh, people, not the place. Oh, people, so, people's place. Place China, of people. Yeah. China, sir, people. Okay. Beda. Anybody know the word for beda? Bindati. Yes, you have the, this one? Bindati. Bindati. All right, so breaks. What is the root? Root Bin. is? Binda, bin, b h i n d, bit, bit, h i n d, bit, bit plus um, bit. right? So become binda. So just now you have the what, what d, what d, what d or what d. okay, what d, all right? What d the verb is wadati or wadati, wa, all right? Acharya, okay. Acharya, all right. So, so where do you see this Acharya? In which in which chanting? Uh, the one, the one, the one is Acharya, or even maybe meta meta chanting. Okay, so yeah, meta chanting. Then to the meta to father and mother, your teacher, right? Now, yeah. you can you try the what is the root can be? Of course, I I will not ask you in the exam, but it's just. Try to know what's the root can be for this acharya. Uh, it will be R, right? R is a prefix. Okay. R plus? Cha, C -A, charity. Cha, R plus the E. Yeah. Okay, this charya means what? What's the meaning of char? Char is to walk. To, 
To move. walk. Okay, besides another move. meaning. To walk. To move. To move. Another one. Wonder. <laughs> no, another meaning. There's another meaning. Charity. Practice. Okay. Practice. Behave. Practice. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. who is your teacher? Somebody oh. you follow, right? You follow your teacher. If your teacher practices well, you also. But if you had a bad teacher, like Angulim Mala, he had a bad teacher, so he practiced in the wrong way. He behaved in the wrong way because of follow his teacher. Okay, so the meaning of behave also. Okay, to practice, to behave. So your teacher is somebody you want to follow. You want to practice under him, behave according to his behavior, right? So that makes sense, you know? Instead of to walk or to move, it's more like to practice, to behave. How your teacher behave, you behave. How your teacher practice, you will practice, right or not? So if your teacher is lazy, you're also lazy, right? <laughs> okay. Now, Oga, like, now you see this in Abhidharma, especially talking about the four types of Oga, like, right? Now this one we recently we come in the sutta in the the basic class badanta. Alawaka. Alawaka. Okay, what's the meaning of badanta? Vulnerable, no? the merit of okay. From the word bada. What's the meaning of bada? Okay, what's the meaning of bada? You all know. Don't oh, know. Vulnerable. Respectful one. <laughs> Auspicious, lucky one, good one. Okay. So, Badanda. So, you have this Badanda. Sometimes we call it vulnerable, sir. It's kind of like a vulnerable one. It's kind of like addressing him. Most of the time we use addressing. Come from this Bada. Okay. Bada means auspicious. Means that you treat that person as the auspicious one or lucky one. Okay. Coming from this word, right? Now, what is the world? Now, in this world, we have how many Buddhas appear? Okay. Five. Five Buddha. Okay. Five Buddha. So, what is the name of this Kappa? You all know? Don't know. Bada? Kappa, right? Bata Kappa means that in this world, right? Or not? Going to, yeah. Okay, here. So this world, of course, in this Burmese, in this world, we have five Buddha. So this Aeon is called Bada Kappa. Now, I mean now, at this time, okay? Other uh, Aeon will not have so much. So we are lucky, you know? So how many Buddha have appeared? If you can remember, I also cannot remember the name. Okay, so you have how many Buddha has appeared before? Now the current Gautama Buddha is which Buddha? Number six. Uh. Number four. Okay. Four. No, number four. four what is the number five? Number five is Maitreya. Maitreya, 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 Maitreya. Maitreya right. Maitreya Maitreya. Buddha. Okay. So previously he had three Buddha. So yeah, I think Kasaka, uh, Kas Kasapa, and uh, whatever. Right. So there are three Buddhas, uh, three Buddhas appear already in the same kappa, right? Appear already. So Gautama Buddha is now, and then the future one material Buddha. So that's why this kappa is called auspicious one. Alright. So from this Bada, you have the Bada kappa. From this Bada kappa, you call Badanta. Number one, or we call it lucky one or auspicious one. So auspicious. So that's how when you learn like this, interesting. Okay, Niraya. I think there's long A here. Niraya. Ni Is it long A here? Niraya. Okay, short A. All right. Okay, Niraya. What is Niraya? It's an, an, an unhappy place. Okay, how many Niraya we have? Can I remember? Hell, hell, there are 16. Eight, okay. uh, hot hell and eight cold hell. Is it? Okay. I also can't remember. But anyway, there are many hell, right? Now, 
do you see this one recently? Okay, Jatila, all right. Now, when Jatila Buddha, he, uh, he gave the Dhamma talk, the, the third Dhamma talk, what is the third Dhamma, Dhamma talk? After Fire Dhamma Chaka, Fire Sermon, all right. He gave to how many ascetic? They are wearing the... This, 1,200. Okay? How many? I think 500, right? So, they are Jatila, all right. They are the... The, thing, method, hair. the method hair. 500, yeah. So, this is the method hair. It means that they tie the hair. I think they never wash it. Okay? Wasala. Outcast, low person. So, Panakara, present. Present is not the present time, it's a, a gift here, all right? So, another minute, just this. G I F T. So, with the dot dot here, Panyakara. Nidi, all right? So, you see one of the sutta is called Nidi Sutta. It's very famous, one, but buried treasure. Okay, so this you just have to memorize. Awata, with the T dot. Pit. Do you know what's the meaning of pit? Hole. What's the meaning? Hole. Okay. It's a deep hole, something like that. Soka. Can you know what is the verb for this soka? Sochati. Sochati. So so Green. Sochati so or Sochati. Okay. Then what is the root can be? The root is? S-O-C. Or S U C yeah. I think S U C S U C suck S U C soup soup okay right. to grieve right to grieve so chat so chat S U C okay yeah so soup to grieve where can this find this soka in which sutta? Quite a lot, like you the a lot. Okay, which one? Yes, Patita 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 Patita. I think Pati 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 Sure. Okay. So, do charita. Now, there's a question here. Why is there a double C here? You have the miss. They call it miss. D. It's a nice translation. Okay. Do is bad. Okay. Charita is bad. Uh, like just now we had the charita, right? Remember the this one? Char is practice or behave. So bad behavior or bad practice. Okay, now the question is, why is it double C here? From each, right? From what is uh, the prefix can be? From prefix is D-U-S, right? Is it D-U-H? The, the D-U-S or D-U-R? D-U-R, oh, okay. Okay, and then plus the bad, right? Do's or do. Plus the charita. Okay. So if you want to do you hatch duke, there's the dukkha. Do. But if you type as do you, you don't you cannot explain why there's a C here. Right? So maybe we see they do do you hatch. So you have to check the early. Yeah. He didn't explain why. But okay, so if you put as a DU plus charita, then you cannot explain why there's a double C. But if you put the prefix do's or do, then you can explain. When you combine assimilation, S and C become CC, right? So that's why when you learn the duracea, you learn more. Okay. Marana. Okay, now there's a question. Why there's an end dot here? Okay, how to get Marana? Oh, the M A R Sanskrit R. Okay. M A R plus how you get this one? M A R. M A R. In Sanskrit R, you have to drop the R and then the N become N dot. Is it plus Anna? Okay, Anna suffix. Okay, what is Anna suffix? Remember, I told you Anna suffix is is a suffix for noun. Noun. Noun forming noun. Okay, so Mar. What is Mar? 
from what malati right what is yeah. mal mal is to die to die to kill to die to die. to die or to kill to die die why die marathi is it to die or kill death kill is hanati marathi is kill dies okay so die dies okay so marathi to die okay now marana you put the ana so you got the marana okay now why is it become marana so always remember okay why is it become here because due to the influence of the r okay Inscript. no no sorry. due to our our uh our sound okay our sound okay. lingualized last time but saji said lingualized. yeah 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 right so the we call it the dental n is lingualized right or if you don't want it you make it very simple n is Lingo rice, all right? And uh, so marana to die, but there's another one to kill. I think there's another one I kill. Another verbs for killing is ma re he, right? Kills, yeah. I remember this one. Marathi is die. Marathi is. This is die. Okay. So become this one. So Marana is dead. Marathi is dies. Marathi is killed. Why? Why Marathi become killed? Cause to kill. Cause it death. Okay. Cause to kill. Cause somebody. Cause somebody, somebody to die. <laughs> Cause somebody to die. Yes. So somebody to, to die, all right? So it becomes Q, right? So this means that it's just how you form this one. Ma plus plus what? A, seven conjugation. No, causative. Causative. Huh? Okay. Either seven conjugation or I think causative. Ma rating. It's a causative form. M R M dot R, right? Positive, all right. So it's a positive here. Positive word. Right? So ma plus ma. So when you remember, when you have the positive, the this must be strengthened, all right. So then it will be strengthening of the vowel in the root. Okay. So this marana, you where you see marana, jara marana, okay, dependent origination. So marati dies, kill marati, right? So M L N become N dot, okay. So next one is the agata. It's a coming approach. So gata, what is gata here? What kind of a suffix here? Pp pp pp. All right. So you can see. PP can become a noun, right? So, a data. Okay, how you get? A plus gum, 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 gum. plus ta. Okay, so this is the PP. So PP, remember I told you PP can be noun, can be adjective, can be verb, right? So in this case, agata is translated as approach. So what it is? Coming, all right? Approach or coming. So this is no more a verb, right? So it's just a, so which one? It's just a noun here. It's just, it's just a noun here. It may be adjective if you look at the example, but it's definitely not a verb. Approach will never be a verb, okay? Approach is always a noun, okay? Coming may be, may be a verb, but approach definitely is a noun. Okay, the verb will be approach, he approach with the S, uh, right? Now, chitta. I think you all know, especially when you learn Abhidhamma. Okay, now, for the this word, my consciousness, how many Pali words beside this uh, chitta? You have the chitta, what else? Pali? 
Chitta, Chitena, Vinyana, 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 okay, Vinyana, uh, Vinyana, okay, what's another one? Chitena, Mano, Chitena, Mano, 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 Mano okay, any more? No more, right? So, okay, now Chitta, what is the root can be? Chin, C I N T, Chin. All right. Okay. How about Vinyana? Vin. No. Vinyana no. is? Root is? Nyana. Nya. 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 No. Okay. No. How about Mana? Mano. Mano. The root man. The root man. is? Man. Okay. Man. Now, Chin. You have the word to think. Chitte. All right. Chitte. Nya is? Jana, to know. To know. Man is? Manusa. Man is also? The meaning is? To know. To man. know also. To man. think? Man? To think, all right? To think also. To imagine. So you have to? To think? To imagine? Yeah, all right? So chin. Chin become chit. But I think this is another root, C I T also. Yeah, yeah, cheat also to think. So yeah, cheat or cheat. All right. So you see the meaning. My consciousness, chitta to think, chin or cheat, vinyana nya to know, manu to think to imagine. All right. So we have three meaning here. Saji. Saji, so, if Agatha, if it's a PP, we put it put in the ED, is it approached or no, no approach is a noun. This is a noun. It's a noun. I, no need ED. Uh, if you are going to write if it's as PP, approach, we add ED like it. Yeah, PP it add as a noun here. A as a noun. So you just put approach is okay. But if you're going to write as approach, so this is it's not a noun. So this is a um, it can be a verb, verb of the gerund, all right? Okay. But if the English is approach, is a noun here. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Like, for example, you know the what? Tata gata. So, what is tata gata? Tata gata. Uh, the Buddha. The, okay. The well the gone. Means one. The well gone. Task one. gone. So, we call it task blue line. Gone. Task gone, all right. So, is it a noun or is it a verb? It's a noun here, right? Noun. Yeah, so okay. No, right. right. All right, now adjective. So remember how we use adjective. Adjective qualify to how many genders? Three, all right? Three. It can be G -G masculine, feminine, it follow it, all right? So, Puratima. All right, in the Meta Sutta, you learn about is, nos, pachima, so here, Puratima. Gilana. Okay, now is Kilana is very easy. What is the verb for Kilana? Kilana, you know, is a sick. Sick. All right. So Kilana, it says somebody in 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 Burmese, the Kilana means somebody sick. Now, what is the verb here? What is the root? G I M. Okay. What is the verb? G. What is the root? Kilana. Kilana. Let's see. Do we have the root here? Kilana. Kilana. Adjective. Six. Kilati. No. Should be this one. Kilana. Glare. But it's, it's different one. Glana. Glare. To fade, to wither, to exhaust. So this one. Kilana. Glare. Hmm. Where are we? G L A. Do we have? Oh yes, we have. Clear, all right. We have the roots clear. Beware. Okay. Oh, to be wary. Okay, the root will be. The verb will be. Hmm. Ah, uh, 
gelatin gelatif gelatin Sorry, not this one. Yeah. Gelatin. No, don't have. Gelatin. Gelatin. No, gelatin is sorrow just now. So that is one. Not this one. The sick person will be. Sick person will be. The, the patient. Gelatin. Gelatin. Yeah, not this one. Gelapetik. We go back to just our gilana, okay? Gilana. Mm, so yeah. sick, we had the gilana, correct? So gilana, gilana. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I cannot find, I have to look at the first one. Uh, let me check. Gilana ka? Let me check the verb. Okay. This, this is the advantage to be able to read some verb. I have to change the phone to the Zozi. Okay. You can see this Gilana Sala. Just now we have the word Sala. Right. So why Gilana Sala is hospital. hospital. Yeah. Okay. So those supporter, helper, like nurse, Gilana Upa. Not what oh, should be Upa Aka. Right. So see the word. Sanskrit is Gla. Glia. Okay, but I cannot find it. E gila. According to Burmese, is gila, right? According to Burmese, they write is gila. Yeah. Gila plus anna suffix. Okay, this is according to Burmese. So gila plus anna, so it means gila plus tick. Should be the tick here. Then like this is explain it gila plus the ana suffix. Okay, stick. So gila na sala means hospital. Okay, now this is interesting. Susu sa. Alright. So, so try to find the root. What is the root? Sus. Sorry? Sus. What is su? Cannot. S-U-S instruct. No, no, S-U-S. Okay, what's the meaning of obedient? Obedient means? What's the meaning of obedient? Okay, you see this one. It's the adjective, wish to listen. Okay. What's the meaning of wish to hear? So this obedient or another meaning is wish to hear. Okay, now you can you guess what is the root? The root is su. Su, su oh, right. Su, okay. okay. So what is the root is su nati. Su nati. Right. So Sanskrit is check the Sanskrit, okay? So this one Sanskrit is shu srush. So you got the so this means that from the soup you got the soup screw. So your soup screw plus the sa. So what kind of uh what kind of noun? They call it disreactive. what directive uh something like that? This directive. How to study? Lesson one. Okay, remember. Lesson uh, number uh, one. 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 Susu, right? Oh. Susu. Susu sa. Susu. Yeah, susu. Susu sa. And then sa stick. Plus the sa. Stick. It's coming from Sanskrit. Susu. Susu sa. Right? 
And then this is difficult to explain this way, but if you follow the Sanskrit, it's easier. Where they're here, explain is that uh, the root is duplicated, right? So the root is duplicated. Okay. But I think for the Sanskrit, it's easier to remember. Susutra, okay? The root is shru. Sunati, the root is sunati shru, okay? Shru. Shru, okay? So the root is Pali here. This is a Sanskrit. This is the Sanskrit one. This is the Pali. Okay, for the susrusa, you got the sususa. What's the meaning of obedient? Means that there's a wish to listen. So when the child wants to listen to you, means that the child is obedient. So if the child don't want to listen to you, means that the child is disobedient. All right? So it's a, you look at this, you all can just look at page one to zero. The this what this the directive okay so we go back to this one, right so seta great best so the buddha when he enlightened he said he's the best of the world seta sita okay sita is a cold season now hamantika is a winter now raining season is wasana all right wasana hamantika some bahula, okay. Bahula, you know the meaning. Bahu meaning some bahula, men. Cheka, daka, clever, okay. Manusa, okay. Now you all can see the human. So the human means the, the root is coming from this manusa, all right? So this is a Pali. So Malay is manusia, manus, manusia, right? Yeah. Okay, Sanskrit is manus, manusia. Sanskrit, uh, Sanskrit, Manusha. So, Sanskrit. I think I show you to Pali, Manu, should be double S. Manu, no. Here they put S, but another one should be the man, double S. Manu, okay. Yeah. Okay, so Manusha Manusa from the Sanskrit. So beside this Manusa, you also got the Manusa. Okay, Manusa Manusa Manusia. This is Malay, right? Why Malay? Malay actually influence. It has an influence of Pali and Sanskrit. So for Manusha. Yeah, why you change it to I? So manusia, is it correct by typing manusia? Correct, manusia. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so the root will be man, man. Right? To think, to imagine. So because human can think and imagine. Of course, animal can think, but human are better in terms of uh, thinking. So that's why they dominate the world. But now with the AI system coming out, maybe AI can think better than us. Uh. All right. All right. So we finish all this. All right. I think this one. Okay. Oh, now is a. Uh, okay. Let me finish this. I'm not a lot. Okay. I'll copy first. I guess, sorry. I just want you said the sam bahula is uh, sam and then the bahula. bahula sam bahula, bahula. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. What is your explanation, please? Bahula. Uh, Some plus Some. Bahula. Okay, thank you. Okay, now, all right. Saiji, yeah. Saiji, the susu, sususa, how we get this uh, sususa? Yeah. The is, is it is su is the, the prefix? Su, su. The root is su. Su, su or su. You, you duplicate the root. Su becomes su, su. Okay. Then you plus the sa here. Maybe don't put the t here. Shu su shu sa. But if you like this, maybe easier to understand. Su su sa or su su sa. But why you get the double s? You have to look at Sanskrit because of the s r here. Okay. Now for this letter, if you compare with the 
Okay, according to Pali explanation, soup become double, root is double because so soup plus the sun. But if you look at the Sanskrit, it's easier, right? So SS coming from the SR. Okay, and then the S, the S dot become no S. Okay. So, so, so. Oh, okay. Okay. This is it. a root, it's a duplicate, duplicate, and then with the this is a rare suffix, suffix SA. Okay. So this is an explanation here. You can look at the this page 120, but to understand this, you if you compare with the Sanskrit, it's easier to understand. All these are rare one. Not to say rare, but it's you just have to look at the Sanskrit. I think uh, today is already enough. So maybe we continue next week. All right. For the so far, I think this all these lessons are easier for you. You all should try yourself. No need to wait for me. Okay. So I will put it on the Google Classroom. When you are free, you all try to do it as a homework. It's better to do it as homework because if you just just look at the text, it's no point memorized. But the moment you do homework, you have to be more hardworking. Try to uh, do it right. Okay. Thank so, you. Uh, Thank you. I got a question yes. on yes. Looks beautiful. Uh, Sobati, uh, item eight. Sobati. Uh, uh, 19 uh, B exercise. The leg looks okay. beautiful. So okay. the uh, looks beautiful can be adjective. Adjective to Vapi, the leg. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's an adjective here. So Vapi. It's adjective, huh? Mm, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh can Hui Ling you lead the sharing of merits? Hui Ling? Can you turn on your video? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Saiji, I'm doing the uh, Puna Am Amon Amodana yeah, sharing sure, of sure. marriage with others. So we, everybody, uh, we put the hand together and we recite together. Okay? Imano punya bagan mata pitunancha namcha acharya namcha tapasatanancha I also like to do transference of marriage to departed relatives uh, okay. three times. <clears throat> Um, I also like to do the Buddha Sasanang. Uh, may the Buddha Sasanang long endure three times. Buddha Okay. So next week, thank you, Hoyli. So next week I'll continue on lesson 20, but I only do the part B. So you all can start to do the part A yourself. Okay. So hopefully we finish our marathon soon. <laughs> because you can see a lot of students left already. We got marathon. Sayaji, Sayaji. Yes. Um, actually, for the vocabulary for lesson nineteen, you have not gone through with us. Huh? I you think went you're going through, through, right? No, you went through the no. whole lesson, but no. not on the vocabulary. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. 19. Can we do it next week? Well, yeah, let, let me see. Yeah. 19. Her book is clean. This one, I thought, I thought gone through, gone through already, right? No? No. I, I think I done gone through already. No. Uh, you, you went through the lesson, but not in the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't Do you remember, remember? Saiji? Saiji said about uh, Papa Nika, Apa Nika, Wanija, Merchant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? I remember this one. Yes, yes. I, I think I go through it. But uh, it didn't send us the notes, eh, Saiji? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, so you all should I listen to the know. recording. You all Maybe should listen to the recording. I think I don't have notes for this one, I think, right? Yeah, I think I mentioned already, but I didn't do any notes on this one. Because I remember I mentioned about the feminine, right? So I you, mentioned you, you this one already. Uh, yes, you mentioned, I, I mentioned but, about this. Um, but you did no not notes. go one by one like you did today for lesson 20. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So you want to in detail, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank okay. So we, Sorry, yeah. I just want you said do 20A and then B you will do in classes. Yeah, yeah, I will always do the B. So you all need to do okay. the A, all right? Because in exam, it's only... Uh,